Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new reaction video brought to you by J&J Toy Giants. Just wanted to say that uh, this is actually a edited version of the Nickelodeon-a-thon that we had on our Patreon channel back in February. And I wanted to go ahead and uh, give you a little taste of what you may see on the Patreon. So if you want to, head on over to our Patreon page, become a patron, help the, the channel out so we can grow and bring you more kinds of content. Sure. So enjoy this uh, edited version of the reaction video that I did for Nickelodeon-a-thon. I'm going to start putting all the videos that I did for Nickelodeon-a-thon on the channel. If you want to watch the full unedited version, go on to Patreon. You'll be able to see it. So for copyright reasons, you may see the little copyright thing on it. So just to give you a little taste of what you might see. So enjoy. Hope you like it. Keep on cruising. Giants, I wanted to start off this very first Throwback Thursday for the J&J Toy Giants Patreon. The Throwback Thursday this month is going to be... Oh, there we, there we go. Try to, I try to figure out what my left and my right is. Uh, but I wanted to introduce that all month long, we are going to be doing Nickelodeon-a-thon brought to you by J&J Toy Giants. So every Throwback Thursday that we're going to be doing this month and a lot of bonus episodes that we're going to be also putting on the, uh, the YouTube channel are all going to be inspired by one of the best cable channels ever in history throughout the 80s and 90s and even still to the early 2000s. Uh, Nickelodeon was actually one of the favorite uh, cable channels that I remember from my, my youth. But uh, just wanted to say, hey, thank you so very much for watching and enjoy all month long J, &J Toy Giants Nickelodeon Thon. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another Throwback Thursday brought to you by j, j Toy Giants. I'm your host, JD, and today I'm going to be going over a uh, a program that I used to watch, <clears throat> a program that I used to watch as a kid on the Nickelodeon channel, which was uh, Salute Your Shorts. It was the third live action uh, or basically a sitcom that they had on the Nickelodeon TV uh, cable programming. Uh, during the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, the first one was the Elef Elephant Show, which, uh, which is a kid's show, and it was kind of like a comedy as well. Then there w became uh, Hey Dude, and then Salute Your Shorts. And uh, today, this particular reaction video of Salute Your Shorts, Season 1, Episode 13, and I'll go I'll go in, over in a minute why I chose Episode 13. Um, it is powered by StreamYard. So if you guys are looking to get into some better quality videos as far as like you know conference calls or even doing youtube reaction videos of any kind or even doing live streams and everything head on over to Streamyard is actually going to be the best one to go with i actually been using it for quite a while and it's been really good um <clears throat> so i'm going to be reacting to it again salute your shorts uh season one episode 13 reason why i'm doing that one is that i was actually that was the first episode i ever watched of this show um when my dad had uh, gotten us cable back in the day when we were living in the bronx um nickelodeon had been one of them and it came became one of my favorite uh you know cable programming uh on top of uh, usa and comedy central so when I saw Nickelodeon, they all they had all kinds of like you know cool uh, cartoons like you know David the Gnome. It had uh, Ren and Stimpy, <clears throat> Rugrats, and then they also had this show, Salute Your Shorts, which was a live action sitcom. And episode thirteen was the very first episode I ever watched when I started watching it. So I figured, what better way to uh, celebrate Throwback Thursday than to watch the very first episode I ever watched as a kid? So without further ado, we're going to be reacting to Salute Your Shorts, season one, episode thirteen. I believe it's called the Environmental Party. Now you have to excuse the um, the quality of the uh, video. It, it is early 90s type like you know Milk. tv ew a rotten bologna and marshmallow sandwich yikes that's uh really gross here cans we put here and paper we put here uh, a, a ranch, uh, which is why they call it Hey Dude. But it was basically a comedy about a family who trash. owned a ranch. Okay. The next time Butnik gets in trouble, which shouldn't be too long, we'll have him pick up the next 710. Okay. Moment. I appoint you Environmental General. What's that? You get to kick anybody's butt who messes up camp. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that way I get some sleep and uh, 
just report to me if anybody gives you go. Hear me the noise pollution. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this uh if this Honey is money and money is honey. All we gotta do is get into that beehive, take out the honey, and sell it. Dude. At about one o'clock, Roger. Oh, there we go. Yellow jacket, you've Uh-oh. gone too far. He's got a pile of wood. Sponge, do you copy? We've lost him. He's gonna run into that pile of wood. Sponge! Yikes. You know, I hate to say it, but you're right. It was about two o'clock. Red lipstick says a statement. It says, look at me. I've got red lips. Yeah, so do clown. Yeah, what do you know about fashion, Tally? I mean, according I, to all my magazines... I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm a parent, too, so I'm like... That's eight minutes more than you're allowed. Says who? Says me, the environmental general. And you can't give me gas. Dina, Uh-oh. you've used enough electricity to light Las Vegas for a week. Yeah, well, listen, babe, Las Vegas... Can't we all just this get along, girls. Done. You want it on? I'm just going to have to report this to Ugg. Go ahead, tell Ugg. Off. You know, Zizi, you're gonna be dead meat. Yay! You know, and it, this is something that I probably right, would have done as a kid too. Beehive, like, honey, you know, jump, you call not really honey. thought it out and you're actually not. just like, hey, let's you're just too. open up a beehive and see what happens. Ow. No protection, no nothing. Wow. If he, if, that's one of the things. Although, too, if he can't see, like, how is he supposed to be able to get the honey out? What? Dirty old magazines or old dirty magazines? Come on. Hey, check this out. How to get great chicks. Excellent. How to get great chicks. Oh, my Lord. Poultry Breeders Gazette. Well, we could always try selling marigolds. No, I don't think that's going to happen, brother. What? This is Dr. Khan. I am not amused at whoever hung the sign around the gun. Um, for music, and it was kind of like out in the woods, uh, and it was on an actual campground. And I was able to uh, make some friends uh, from other schools you that was basically like a music camp where all of the, the whole the district mind? took what all of their music departments and they would, you know, um, you, be on the band side, you'd be on the choir side, you'd be on the acting side of the drama. And all of the the town camp counselors were actually teachers of their specific, like, you know, singing, band, drama. And they would all, like, kind of teach you how to do those, uh, that certain area of uh, the performing arts. And uh, I actually made a few friends from different schools, which was pretty cool. Um, also went to another i forget the name of the the program that it was for but um uh, oh, looks like they're having a party go to the party without bringing something to recycle thank you look at all the people here how'd you do it well i raised people's consciousness about our fragile planet and she said there'd be free food where do i set up by the fireplace <laughs> hey you girls got everything under control here <gasps> Oh, it's almost 8 o'clock. I have a very important phone call to make to Mona. We're not going to have any problems. Like, okay. You can trust Camp on a wall. I want, hopefully I can... Yeah, I don't Watch think she's doing it for the environment. I hate, to, I hate to break the news to you. Oh, hello, is, is Mona there? Hi. Hi, Mona. Mona, it's, it's me, Ugg. Yeah, Ugg. Um, so, Mona, do, do you like to go bowling? Uh, yeah. He's asking her out on a date. That's your high score? No, no, I'm not embarrassed by a woman who does better than me. No, huh? But h- how do you feel about roller skating? I wrote this Way to bring awareness, sweetheart. In hopes that people will change. Look around, see the world. Sun that shines above. We don't change the way we live. We'll be covered in puking, rotting garbage. Oil cells, toxic waste, acid rain. <laughs> Uh, well, that's easy for you. Give her a hand. Easy zip. 
It's a little clap. Well, and that's a good kind. In a high gear. Drum roll, please. It is now time for the ecology dance. And the lucky winner is number 28. All right. I got 28. Oh, I'm in 13. I got 13, too. Oh. A very classy dance with very classy music. I'm into classy. All right. Oh, well. Come on. <laughs> She's totally pulling this out of her rear end. We could um, go down by by the school. Dude, are you still on the phone? Yeah. Right? So, yo, I'll, I'll pick you up at 8 on Friday. Click. was a little boring huh <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so why don't we liven it up a little bit yeah! except this time do the button it stop oh man whoa let me the really oh wow man they're tearing that place up Oops. Pie to the face. Yikes. They're definitely in trouble. Man. Look at this place. Yep. It was one successful party. This was the single most wasteful event in the history of camp. So? It is polystyrene cups. So? Polystyrene doesn't biodegrade. It that is true. It does not biodegrade. Earth. What's your point, ZZ? The point is, this party was a disaster. It's got to be cleaned up. So clean it. I mean, if you're going to nitpick about trash and poison gas, then forget about me because I've done my bit. I don't like bummers. Wow. Puking, rotting garbage. What in the heck? You brought me so much treasures this fine, beautiful morning. <laughs> wow. You know what I'll dance with me today? Yeah. That is so not politically so, correct. It's not even oh, funny. God, that was, you know, that Bobby Buck, Nick, Nick, uh, rat kid, been mean to you again, huh? No. <laughs> ZZ, don't fret. It's always darkest before the dawn. You know that. That is true. I've always been a believer that if you're always trying to change something, it'll get worse before it gets better. You'll probably do anything, anything to get his hands on that. He probably would. He would do anything for this money. And so would the rest of camp. You solved all my problems. Thanks, Mr. Santa Oh boy. That's on not fifty dollars. No, fifty-one, mostly tens, few fives. It's fifty-one dollars, and it all came from recycling. See this one can? Big deal, right? It's worth a nickel, but enough of these, you get this. If you do all the things this chart says, I guarantee we'll make enough money for a trip to the water slide. And I'll add my money to the pop for some pizza. <laughs> Well, at least she's getting them to, to be able to, to do uh, stuff for the environment that's going to be better for the actual environment and the actual camp. That's my launcher. You can't recycle. Metal is metal. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, like, no, that's. You can't have it. He is in love with that, that chair. All season long, it's like that's basic, basically what he covers the most. Oh boy. These copper pipes belong in the shower. They belong to me. <laughs> 
Sputnik is really trying to uh <laughs> nice. All right, they get to go to the water slide. This is Dr. Khan, and I'm absolutely thrilled to see everyone unselfishly pitch in to make camp sparkling clean. I mean, it saves me money on the custodian. As I sit and ponder, I swell with pride to think that the dead shoot. <laughs> Does anybody besides me feel weird about this? I mean, that we did all this work to help clean the environment just to go to a water slide? I think it's very weird. I mean, I think we should be able to go to the water slide without having to work. My vote. Do we spend the money on a water slide or the future of Anawana? I knew they were gonna say that. We all talked about it last night. After you left. We decided to use the recycling money for a good cause. Yep, and we bought this young maple tree to teach future campers the joy of nature. I can't believe this. You guys bought a tree. Look at it, it's a buried in the ground tree. $65 a gallon. And this thing is gonna pour out money. And it's all mine. Excuse me, buddy, you're not gonna <laughs> drill into this tree. Oh yes, I am. Oh, oh no, no, you're not. not. Yes, I oh, am. Oh boy. No, you're not. Get up. Hey, you guys. You guys, where are you going? You guys. I switched my day off so I could take you to water slide. Hey. What's this tree doing here? <laughs> uh, uh, you guys? I'll explain it when you're guys. older, Augie. Hey, today after you all right so that does it for this edition of throwback thursday of salute your shorts brought to you by j and j toy giant powered by Streamyard. i'm your host jd again be sure to uh, look at all of our other content here we have on the patreon if you're watching this right now obviously you've already subscribed uh we have a lot more coming to you with, with different types of uh, content that you can get on the patreon but be sure to go also, go also go to our YouTube channel. That's all free. You don't have to pay to get into that. Uh, J and J Toy Giants on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment on any of our video submissions on Patreon, YouTube, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Keep on cruising. <laughs>